Daddy, I finished. Thank you. To work out the speed of an object, perhaps a vehicle, we need to know two bits of information. We need to know the distance that it's travelled, and we also need to know the time that it's taken to travel that distance. So the speed of an object is equal to the distance travelled divided by the time taken. And we measure the distance in metres, and we measure time in seconds. So we can look at the velocity being equal to the metres it's travelled per second. And we can write this, traditionally at GCSE we maybe use metres per second, but the better way of showing this is metre second to the minus one. Okay, the s to the minus one means it's one over s. A few more examples of this might be perhaps the force produced by the engine. Okay, and force is equal to mass times acceleration. The mass of an object is measured in kilograms and the acceleration is measured in meters per second squared. So that means we can say that the force can be measured in kilogram meter second to the minus two. That's a bit of a mouthful, we don't talk about uh, the force of an engine in, the, in all these base units. So this gives rise to one of the derived units which is the Newton. So one Newton is one kilogram for one meter uh, with one second to the minus two. Okay, we might maybe think about the energy of that vehicle when it's moving, perhaps the kinetic energy EK, which is equal to a half times its mass times its velocity squared. Well, a half is a unitless quantity, it's just a number, so that has no unit. Kilogram measured in is what we use to measure meters, and velocity is meter per second. But what we've done is we've squared that velocity. So we can write this as kilograms meters squared second to the minus two because we've got minus one raised to the power of two. And again we don't talk about the energy of a body in terms of kilogram meters squared seconds to the minus two. What we do is we talk about the energy in the unit of the joule. So what we have here are the base units. Remember there's only seven. Kilogram, Ella, Kelvin, uh, and there's one more that I've forgotten, the mole. So these seven base units make all of the other units, okay? We can use combinations of these to give us things like the coulomb, the volt, perhaps the resistivity, or even the resistance of an ob um, or the uh, density of an object.